so I've been I've been thinking about this project a lot lately and I've got a lot of encouragement to go 48 volt um, 48 volt is going to cost another thousand and fifty odd dollars I've got everything else here it's just a matter of that inverter um, now that in this 24 volt inverter cost me eight hundred and fifteen dollars delivered if anybody would like to buy that off me it's only a few weeks of use old if anybody would like to buy that off me and offer me a reasonable price let me know in the comments section below um, I really need look I don't want to spend any money I don't want to piss the friggin wife off I guess but if anybody would like that and could use that and it could give it a good home let me know I have all the boxes the cables I'll help you set it up I'll even tell you an electrician that can um, you can you can pay to um, come and set it all up for you legally so let's moving forward to here we have got one thousand eight no it's 183 amp hours last night I'll probably better on here where is it there we go 183 amp hours last night and we've taken out of the batteries 2118 amp hours so that's uh, that's quite a bit of quite a bit of power and time synchronized 13 I think that indicates 13 days um, now I've probably done another 10 cycles on top of that so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do another battery voltage. We're still using it, so this will be the same as this, the first battery voltage check I did. So let's do that now and see where the battery voltages are. So we've got 25.67 volts. So let's have a look at those voltages. Radio on someone's suggestion, I set the set the range this time. So I'm going to do it in the same order as the last time I did it again. So we've got consistent values. So let's have a look at the first one. The second one. The second one from the bottom left. Bottom right, sorry. Three seven. Three seven. Three six, three seven, three six. So that first pack's pretty close. Oh no, the second pack from the top. Three six, three six, three seven. This is working a little bit better, it's not jumping all over the place. No, that one's not working at all. There we go. Well, I'm pretty happy. That's all around the 37 mark. I mean, it's about as close as you would expect. That's actually closer than I would expect, but. Okay, this is. So, this is the top pack, and again, I can't see it. If I miss any, I'll come to a voltage again and it fell, and I broke it. Just hope you can see it again. the last one oh. okay so the last one the multimeter keeps falling down you're just gonna have to trust me 3.706 is on the last one so there are all the battery voltages again I just broke me multimeter dropping on the floor but broke them out but that's all right so now the plan is in the next few days is to pull down this shed again 
Now I am considering buying another one of these sheds because it's much, much larger. I've got I've got room to actually work in this shed where I don't have room to work in the shed. So I'm considering replacing the shed with a new one. Um, if that's the case, it's going to take another couple of days. But if I, I want to take all these packs back out. I want to paint the wood nice, bright white and then start setting this up for 48 volt in this shed or the new shed I don't know we'll have to see I have been known to change my mind so I may yet do that so YouTube that's the update for now sorry they're sort of repetitive I'll see you on the next one